Hey, good morning, Unity. Our word for this Thursday comes from Psalm 16.8. I have set the Lord always before me because he is at my right hand. I shall not be moved. What a powerful verse of scripture. His mind set on the Lord. The Lord always before him. We see David's resolve in this verse. We see his heart all through the Psalms, but we get a glimpse of his resolve right here. I, the Lord is always before me, and so I am not going to be moved. David was keenly aware of God's continual and constant presence in his life. The Lord was his shepherd, he would write, and so he knew that uh, on the good days, on the bad days, on the in-between days, God was there. God was not some abstract thought to David. He was not some far-off entity that was nameless in the outer regions of the universe, and neither is he that to you and I. He is real, he is powerful, and he is present in our lives right now. God illustrated that idea of him being present all the time to the children of Israel as they were wandering through the wilderness. Uh, and, and the Bible tells us that by day he would make his presence known in a cloud that hovered over the tabernacle where the Ark of the Covenant was. By night it was a pillar of fire that hovered over the uh, tabernacle where the Ark of the Covenant was. And when, when that uh, pillar uh, fire moved or the cloud moved, God was saying, it's time for you to move. God led them and God's presence was there. When they got up in the morning, he was there. When they went to bed, he was there. And all through the night, he would be there. God's presence was always with them. You and I need to have that same sense of awareness that God is always with us. When we get up in the morning, he's there. When we get to wherever it is we're going, God is there. Now, we may not be able to see him in a cloud or a pillar of fire, but we have something Old Testament believers did not have. We have the presence of the Holy Spirit indwelling in us. And he, the Holy Spirit, he, he is constantly working in our lives. He is exhorting us. He is encouraging us. He is guiding us. He is instructing us. And sometimes, yes, he is chastising us when we aren't all that we should be in Christ. God is always there. Not only do we have the Holy Spirit, but we have the Word of God, a complete book written with all that we ever need to know about Christianity, about life, and about what to expect when this life is over. We have a complete book, and from this book, we can know the heart of God, the thoughts of God, and the expectations that God has on us. The Lord is always before us. He is always present. Now, there's, there's something that happens because of that. There's a reaction to that. He says, because he is at my right hand, because he is always present, I shall not be moved. He's, he says, I'm going to be unmovable, unshakable, unafraid, uncompromising. That should be the, the thought and the resolve of every believer. We should be unmovable. Can you say that you are unmovable in Christ. We need to be uh, unmovable in our stand for Christ. We need to be unmovable in our character for Christ. We need to be unmovable in our pursuit of purity and holiness. We need to be unmovable in our focus. We need to be unmovable in our mission. Now, I believe it's uh, the responsibility of every believer to cultivate their relationship with Christ. And that comes from prayer and Bible reading, church attendance. It's up to us. And as we do that, we develop that sense of awareness that God is always there. Hey, I want to encourage you today to walk with God. Walk in the Spirit. And when you walk with God, you're walking with the King of glory. Hey, be blessed today and be a blessing.